Good afternoon. I'm James Henningsen, president of the College of Central Florida. Two months ago, our lives came to a screeching halt and we found ourselves scrambling to a new normal. Who could have ever imagined that I would be giving this address to our graduates virtually? We hope you know that, like you, we are disappointed. Each spring and each fall, we recognize our students with commencement, a ceremony celebrating completion of an education program and the beginning of the next stage in your life. But as we know, this year is different. Our lives have been interrupted, our schedules have been rearranged, and what we once took for granted, we can no longer expect to be the same. But one thing is certain, you, our College of Central Florida graduates, deserve to be recognized. You began your studies at CF with a mission. You began this semester with the end in sight. And tomorrow, you will then begin the day knowing that if you persevere through this semester, that you can handle whatever the future brings. We can't be together to celebrate, but we will share some traditional elements of commencement so that you, your family, and friends can create your own memories of this day a day that you so rightly deserve. Christiana Wilson, a member of our SIA Patriot Singers, will now sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming Today, we focus on you, our students, who have completed requirements for certificates and associate and baccalaureate degrees. We recognize you for what you have achieved and encourage you to continue to pursue your dreams. At the College of Central Florida, we take great pride in knowing that we have helped generations find and succeed in their educational and career goals. Today's graduates represent nearly 1,600 certificates and degrees earned in the spring and summer semesters. Congratulations to you all. To the family and friends of our graduates, only you know what it took to get your graduate here today. Your support and confidence in your graduate has helped make this day a reality for them. We ask that our students take a moment to thank their family and friends for their role in your accomplishments, whether that's in person, through a text message, or on social media. We also thank our faculty and staff for their commitment to your success. Their determination to help you finish and finish strong has helped you get to where you are today. Again, feel free to send them a comment. I'd like to share a few stories of our graduates who represent all students who have embraced challenges and opportunities to make it to the finish line. 
Our first student is Dominique Gandianco, who graduates today with her Associate in Arts. This year has been a whirlwind of honors for Dominique, who is talented, very talented musician. She was awarded winner of the Florida Flute Association's Piccolo Master Class Competition and was chosen as one of two flutists in the entire state to perform an orchestral master class at the Florida Flute Association Convention. She earned these recognitions while also serving as a leader on the Ocala Campus Student Activities Board. And Dominique isn't finished yet. She will continue her education at CF in the nursing program. Congratulations to Dominique and all of our graduates who will continue their education with an advanced degree. I'd also like to recognize Miguel Cothier, Jr., who graduates with a Bachelor of Applied Science in Business and Organizational Management, specializing in Public Safety Administration. Miguel previously earned an Associate of Art and an Associate of Science degree in Criminal Justice Technology at CF and has had a full career as a police officer working in communications, community policing, investigations, and as a school resource officer. He is due to retire from the Ocala Police Department in a few years and wanted to ensure that he was ready to advance his career in the public safety industry. He said it was also important to demonstrate to his sons that there are vast opportunities at their reach if they apply themselves in accomplishing their goals. Congratulations to Miguel. The next graduate I would like to recognize is Heather Scott, who has earned the Bachelor of Science in Early Childhood Education. Heather had a successful career in real estate, but was inspired to do something more. When her children started college and became relatively self-sufficient, she felt it was the optimal time to pursue her dream of becoming a teacher. She found that returning to school after 20 years was challenging, but also extremely rewarding. She earned A's in each of her baccalaureate classes while she continued to work 30 plus hour weeks, serving as an active guardian ad litem and caring for her ailing mother through her death. Heather said that the decision to become a teacher stems from her love of children and, desire, and the desire to help them recognize their potential in life, as well as the enjoyment and satisfaction of being a mother. She is looking forward to teaching kindergarten or first grade at Marion County School District. So congratulations to Heather Scott. Thank you very much, Heather. And the final graduate I would like to recognize is Diana Ward, a dual enrollment student at Citrus High School who is graduating with her Associate in Arts. Diana is president of the 4-H Create Sewing Club in Citrus County, and she has a passion for science and the drive to educate her community. When Diana began hearing news, the news reports about COVID-19 moving across the country, she began researching the disease and its impact. She knew that she could combine her passions of science and sewing to make a difference. She began sewing face masks for family and friends, and now is providing them for local healthcare and business. As she finished up the spring semester, she spent her days completing high school and college classwork and her nights sewing protective face masks. In July, she will begin in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at the University of Florida, where we know that she will continue to make a difference. Congratulations to Diana, and thank you for your community service. Now, I'd like to recognize one of our former graduates. Each year, the College of Central Florida Foundation recognizes an alum who has gone above and beyond to support their community. This year, the foundation honors Ben Marciano. Ben is passionate about the benefits of health and fitness and works with the community to address health issues. He served as executive director of the Frank DeLuca YMCA for several years, and in 2014, he opened up Zone Health and Fitness. I believe it is our mission to give and help others, said Ben. That is why we push so hard so we can do more. 
Ben and his wife volunteer with several charitable organizations in the community, including Arnett House, which provides emergency shelter, counseling, and crisis intervention to young people and families. He says that he and his wife are fortunate to be in a position where they can support community organizations, including the American Heart Association, the United Way, and the centers. And of course, Ben has some supported his alma mater, CF. He's begun a signature sponsor of the CF Athletics Program for many years, and he partners with CF for recruiting and to hire students. We are proud to present the 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award to Ben Marciano. Congratulations, Ben, you've earned it. And now we'll hear from Dr. Mark Paw, Vice President of Academic Affairs. President Henningsen, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Central Florida, I am proud to present the candidates for baccalaureate and associate degrees and certificates. This exemplary class of 2020 has demonstrated that they have the grit, the determination, and the fortitude to persevere. When we made the decision to move spring classes fully online, we knew that there was going to be a learning curve. We knew that there might be challenges, and we knew that this would be a semester like no other. Our faculty have shared that students responded with strength, with creativity, and with resolve to finish and to finish strong. And so I present these candidates who have completed the requirements for their degree or certificate and recommend that the appropriate degree or certificate be conferred. As president of the College of Central Florida, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and the district board of trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree, associate's degree, or certificate for which you have been recommended as evidence that you have fulfilled all requirements thereof and that you are entitled to all rights and privileges pertaining to that degree or certificate. Congratulations, graduates. Please join me again in congratulating our graduates. As alumni, I hope you will stay connected with the college through the CF Alumni Association. I want to thank each of you again for your hard work and determination through this challenging time. Commencement is our favorite time of the year because we get the opportunity to celebrate you, our graduates, and all of your accomplishments. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate with you virtually, and we wish you all the best as you move forward. The writer Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. And you have proven that you have within yourselves the strength and determination to do whatever you set your mind to. Congratulations to all the graduates of the College of Central Florida. We recognize you for everything you've done and thank you very much. Good afternoon, graduates. On behalf of the College of Central Florida District Board of Trustees, Congratulations on your achievement. Over the last few months, you have been tested in ways you have never thought possible, but you have persevered and you have excelled. And now you're ready for the next chapter in your life. So know that you are prepared for whatever life has planned for you. So again, congratulations on a job well done. President Henningsen, Chair Broncado, trustees, honored guests, faculty and staff, and most importantly, our treasured students and your families and friends. I'm Kathy Hebda, Chancellor of the Florida College System, and I am both thrilled and honored to be a part of the College of Central Florida's virtual commencement for the spring class of 2020, and especially honored to celebrate this spring's graduates. I bring greetings and heartfelt congratulations from Commissioner of Education Richard Corcoran, the Department of Education, and our staff in the Division of Florida Colleges, all of us who have the great privilege to work on your behalf every single day. 
This is one of the great joys of being chancellor, to share this moment of accomplishment, this great day with all of you. Even before this semester, you made sacrifices and choices, and in many instances, so did your families, so that this moment would happen. And you did it. You persevered through these extraordinary times. Now more than ever, you are true patriots. What you're accomplishing for yourselves, your families, and our state is priceless. I will tell you that I agree with Dr. Henningsen when he says the core values of this institution, empowerment, engagement, and excellence, are what guide this college. Your faculty were already some of the best in the nation, and they have even outdone themselves in their Herculean efforts on your behalf. We are proud of them, and all of us are so very proud of you and what you have achieved under some of the most extraordinary circumstances a student body has faced. It is students, faculty, and administrators like your team at the College of Central Florida that continue to bring national recognition to our Florida college system. That recognition happens here because great teaching and learning happen here. And now we know they happen here no matter what. I'll close with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. You have dreamed of this day, believed in yourself to achieve it, and now you stand poised to create new dreams, new goals for your future and your families. A new future is opening up before you this very day. Be thankful to those that helped you, parents, family, friends, faculty, all who stood with you, believed in you, and knew that you could do it. And now, you have done it. You've arrived at this destination, and you are ready for the next. I am so proud of all of you, proud of this institution, and so grateful to share a part of this great moment. Go Patriots! Greetings, graduates. I'm Kent Fox, president of the University of Florida, and I'm so thrilled to congratulate all of you for your wonderful accomplishment. I am especially delighted to give a shout out to all the graduates who plan to enroll at the University of Florida this fall. We will be so glad to have you with us as our newest Gators. Again, congratulations to all. This is Reverend Eric Cummings, Chairman of the Marion County School Board, Pastor of the New Zion Missionary Baptist Church. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020 College of Central Florida graduates. You guys have made it, a job well done, and we just wish the best for you in your life. Continue to do good things and just continue to press on. We know that there are, there's greatness ahead for you. God bless and congratulations again. College of Central Florida graduates of 2020, let me say congratulations. I know this is a difficult time, but I want you to know this. You are entering into a workforce in a community that is really set up for long-term sustainability. You're going to have opportunities, and we are so excited that you've gotten the skills that are gonna be needed for our businesses. So welcome to the workforce, and congratulations to all of our graduates. I just wanna express my congratulations to the spring graduates of the College of Central Florida. You've put in a lot in terms of your education. You've reached this milestone. All of us at Advent Health Ocala want to wish you every blessing and welcome to the workforce. Please stay with us as we now acknowledge and recognize each of our graduates. Oh, Florida.